friends and welcome to Obsidian Soft. Sometimes our app requires that we store images in the cloud so that they can be accessed by anyone and not just the person who has taken those photos. One way of doing it is storing the images on Google Drive, which I've already taught in a previous tutorial. But you can also store small sized images in the cloud DB. I will show you in this tutorial how to take pictures, save them to cloud DB and also load those images from cloud DB. Let's have a look at the demo. I am using two devices. I'm right now on device number one. I wrote some info about the picture and then took the picture. It will be now saved in CloudDB. You will have to wait for a little bit of time for it to be uploaded to CloudDB. Now, as you can see, it has started coming in the list view. Now I am on device number two and I can see the picture from device number one on it too. So let's begin. We need an extension for encoding the image before saving it to CloudDB. We use the same extension for uploading to the Google Drive tutorial too. I will give this link in the video description. So just go down and download this AIX file. So just choose keep here. It has been downloaded. Now open up MIT App Inventor, go to projects, start a new project, and let's call it save load IMG to cloud DB. Okay, and make sure that the toolkit is expert and then press okay. Now on the left hand side, go down until you reach the end and here click on extension and now click on import extension and choose the AIX file that we downloaded, okay? So this was the file that was downloaded, so just click on import. And once it has been imported, just drag and drop it onto the viewer here so that it becomes a part of your project. So it's a non-visible component. For screen one, make a line horizontal center. From user interface, drag and drop an image component onto the viewer. Make its height and width both 200 pixels. Okay, and the scale picture to fit should be checked. So check it. From layout, drag and drop a horizontal arrangement just below this image component. And in its properties, make a line horizontal and a line vertical both center. Make its height 15% and width fill parent. Now from user interface, drag and drop a text box, this one inside this horizontal arrangement. Also drag and drop a button on the right of this text box and let's name it, rename it to take picture and save button, okay? And let's change the text on it accordingly. Okay, from user interface again, so this is the user interface, drag and drop a list view below this horizontal arrangement and make its width fill parent. From storage, drag and drop a cloud DB onto the viewer. And I'm also going to add a notifier to our project for showing messages to the user. So from user interface, drag and drop a notifier, okay? And last but not the least, the most important thing is the camera. So from media, drag and drop a camera onto the viewer. So our screen design is done. So let's go to the block section. So first we are going to make a global variable, which is a list. So click on variables and get the initialize 
global block and let's rename it to pictures with data. So this will be a list. So from lists get the create empty list block and actually this will not just contain the image data but there will be some text data along with it to differentiate the image from the other images okay because a lot of images will be going to the cloud db so we need to add some information some text information about the image along with the actual picture okay next when the screen is initialized so click on screen one and get the when screen one dot initialize block we have to ask for permission for using the camera so permissions are very important when we are making an app so click on again screen one and go down and then there is this call screen one dot ask for permission block and here choose camera now what happens when this take picture and save button is clicked we use our extension, this one that we have added to this project, special procedure to take a picture and convert it to base64 because we have to encode it before sending it to the cloud DB. Okay, so get the take picture and save button click event. And here we are going to click on our extension and get its procedure for taking a picture and converting it to base64. So just go down, this is in, in alphabetical order. So call q 4 dot take picture to base64, okay? Now when this call is successful, it will trigger an event after picture base64. So again, click on the extension, and go up and you have this after picture base 64 so get that event and this will be our encoded image data okay so we have to now add the new image data encoded image data with some information that has been provided by the user in the text box to our list okay so from lists get the add item to list block and put it inside our after picture base 64 event okay and here the list is our global list which is pictures with data and the item now this is important we have to provide two pieces of information as an item one the text to the image data so this will be actually a list too. So go to lists and get the make a list block. And here the thing in the first index is whatever the user has written inside the text box. So click on text box and get its text, whatever the user has provided here. And this is the encoded image. So hover over it to get the getter for it and plug that in in the second spot. So you have to remember in index one, we have the text data. In index two, we have the image data. Now we are going to just call the cloud DB and store this value. And what is the value? The value to store is our pictures with data. So I can duplicate it by right clicking on it and we have to provide a unique tag here. So just click on text and get the empty text block and let's call our tag big data. Okay, now this storing of image data takes a bit of time. So we can optionally add a message using the notifier when save is successful. So what event is triggered when some save is successful? In the cloud DB, if I click, I have this event when cloud DB dot update done. So whenever a save is successful, this event will be triggered. So let's go to the notifier and use its show alert block. 
And here the notice is a text log that says successfully saved. Okay. Now the saving of the image that is encoding it to base64 and then uploading it to cloud db is done and I will cover the loading of it and showing it in the list view in the next part of this tutorial. I hope you like this video and if you haven't subscribed to my channel kindly do so so that you don't miss the second part of this tutorial and also the other great projects that I have planned for you. Thank you for watching my video. Have a good day and goodbye.